so we have multiple options across all this blue water. Right? We aren't just kind of a one-trick pony, but we can do operations by air and by sea that allow us multiple capabilities to get out and project power. You know, within our own task force, it's the, uh, the 593rd ESC, Transportation Movement Control Teams and, and HR from resource perspective. The 8th TSC with Army Watercraft uh, that allow us to project power out of Navy Base Guam out to uh, the Outer Islands, really to allow us to test a lot of the things that the multi-domain task force we're doing as part of Forager 21 writ large. Uh, and then the Air Force, so it's the whole enterprise that came together to, to make this a reality to allow us to uh, preserve combat power and project combat power multimodal by both air and sea. So just uh, the, the partnerships with the other branches were so very vital for this. By coming out here, operating with our joint force, really it just built our understanding of how we're going to operate. We're going to train uh, as we fight and we're going to fight as a joint force. So we have to operate that way. For this exercise, we moved out here. We had to move all of our equipment. We understood the challenges of operating with Army watercraft at great distances. Um, we had to understand the challenges of operating at a naval port, doing those operations, onload, offload of uh, you know vessels to get our equipment here. Um, operating from an air base where we doubled the population of the air base and how do we share those resources, especially when you have the threat of typhoon or uh, the threat of COVID. I mean, all of those are great lessons for us and uh, I think they will feed into future exercises. Forager and Defender of the Pacific started with just a, a small admon force in late June and really grew to up over uh, 5,000 uh, Army forces across the Indo-Pacific. It gave us an opportunity to test some of our capabilities in a live environment. So it was an incredible opportunity to work through all the pieces of, of the joint environment. And it really, I think it showcased what Army capabilities can do in the Pacific.